Jeez. Oh my god, there's so many. Get burnt! Oh, these, these ice ones are the best. They help so much in stopping them right here. You gotta freeze, freeze. Get your butt. battle. Jazzy, if you fire the Kazapa cannon now, it will have no effect. We must bide our time and wait for the moment to strike. Please return. Okay. Man. All right. Fine. I'm here. Crazy battle. This battle's insane. Okay, is that it? All right. Jump over Atlas's attacks. I see. It's just jump rope, guys. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Look, he's ex he has exhausted himself. This is our chance. All forces attack. Attack him together. much damage they're doing. Oh my god, they're doing so much damage. We have staggered him. Quickly, you must go to the Kazapo camp and once more. Race back to the tower and try to hit him where uh, somewhere where the Steely Hide can't protect him. His eye or his mouth? Definitely his eye, right? Oh! <laughs> Right in the eye! Brilliant shot! 
only have to hold off the monsters to wait, uh, off the monsters. wait our opportunity and land another shot. So I just have to hang out up here? I'm gonna do it again. Why are you guys all here? Excuse me. Oh god, now he's adding his jump attacks to this? Not fair. Not fair. Illegal. Illegal. Such a ridiculous battle. Woo. Man, they've destroyed so much. My sword. Oh, did I accidentally equip someone with my sword? Crap. Well, one of them has my sword. It's fine. We'll never know which one has it until after this battle's done. I probably gave it to... What's her face? Uh, Anessa. Woo! There, it just hit me like a baseball. Coming very fast now. Yeah, they're destroying all of my stuff. Alright. So I'm guessing he's gonna do another one of those, uh, Tantrum, so go over there and hit his feet, and then I shoot him in his eye again. Woo wee! Oh, my castle! It's getting ruined! Oh god. Let's go! They're not using the really uber awesome uh, mace I gave you. He's so angry. There it goes. Get dead. Watch out, Maroth. Move! Thing. All right, now who has my sword? Level 30. All right, who has my sword? I would like it back, please. I bet it's Anessa. She was upstairs with me at that time. Yep, it's Anessa. Thank you. Max, give that sword back. Do 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 do. God, they destroyed so much. Look at the castle walls, it's gone. We did it, we defeated Atlas. And that item he dropped he when he fell, could it be? My girl. <laughs> our beautiful builder, you have vanquished our foe and saved our kingdom. <laughs> Katsuks, I knew you could do it in honor of the great deeds of his arms. I may consider taking you on as a squire. 
God has be praised. The vile tyrant who had at this fair isle in his iron grip is no more. Our days of endless bloodshed are over. I cannot believe this. This is really real. We did it. We actually did it. We defeated the children of Argon. So happy. <laughs> I please beg pardon of that outburst. Such behavior is unbecoming of Moonbrook's military leader. Before our celebrations begin in earnest, what say we repair the damage? Yes, repair it all. Nice. It's all fixed. I must speak with you. You recovered your rustic relic from Atlas's body, did you not? I believe that may be the mark of Moonbrook, the legendary treasure that will restore peace to the realm. You have to only to repair it. Go on. Take the rusted relic to the workbench and transport it into the mighty mark of Moonbrook. Yeah, I did notice that they were just the Hair Force, Gear Force, and Air Force all over again. Dude, Malmoth is so pissed. He's so pissed. Oh, that's easy. Whoa. Look at that creative force there. Got it. The mark of Moonbrook is as good as new. How can I ever repay you? As I told you, you alone in this world is but an illusion. It may fade away at any moment. But when I see your smiling face, young lady, it fills me with hope. Mayhaps you are not an emissary of annihilation, but one of creation sent by the heavens to save us all from this wretched fate, to save this world from destruction. Come, Jazzy, take the moon of Moonbrook and affix it to the mark, the beacon of Erdrick. Let the people see that the peace has returned. All right, so where do I put it? I put it on top. Oh, I just put it there. Oh. Dude, that's a fire hazard. Look at all these people. So this is what a world without war feels like. A world at peace. I cannot thank you enough. If it were not for you, this day would never have come. The builder won- Oh, I don't care. Get out of here. Honestly, Hayden, is there anything you won't sing about? People in Moonbrook spend some time savoring the peace that Jazzy has brought about them. And their unfamiliar warmth which had warmed and filled their hearts. They decided to celebrate this happy turn of events by holding the greatest feast in the history of their kingdom. The preparations for the victory feast is complete. Now let us mark the start of the celebrations with a fireworks display. Also, the Natergis! Hello! Long time no see! Thank you so much for that resub! How you been? Drop them bears. Consider this a humble gift from your monarch. Except, from the, except for the firework cannons themselves, I can see these are all your fine craftsmanship. Oh, and before I forget, I saw Mauros standing atop the outer wall. He cut a rather lonesome figure. He needs a friend to talk to, and you are the best friend he has. So oh. Aww, cute. How's it going, buddy? Why did I say that to her? Why would I say why would I do that? Something isn't right. There's something wrong with me. Huh? Oh, it's you. How long have you been standing there? The Kazapple Cannon of yours is really something. Guess you won't need me around to beat up monsters for you anymore. You build things, I smash monsters, but you don't need me anymore. I don't need you. Once we get back to the island, we can go our separate ways. Jeremiah was looking for you. You should go and free him, or find him, and see what he wants. Aw, it's okay, buddy. Look, we could be, still be friends, dude. Let's look at these fireworks again. Aw, they're pretty. So many freaking traps down there. Mm -hmm. 
Why the dour expression? Tonight we celebrate our victory, yet your face suggests a mourn of bitter loss. Leave your troubles. Tonight's celebration shall surely drive them away from your mind. It is time to put your wonderful firework cannons into action. What? What do you mean? You cannot remember when or where wherefore you built them. Come now, my girl. You made them at my request so that you may celebrate inevitable victory over the monsters. Here, take these fine fireworks. Load the cannon fireworks cannon and let the display begin in earnest. And believe Vanessa has something she wished to speak to you about. When you have your fill of fireworks, pray, go and find her. Oh, so I need a specific bombs. Okay. Cool. Can be died. Alright, awesome. Build these up. That's really cool. That's cute. This is so cute. You can fire fireworks. You could also dye them. That's awesome. Ah, Jazzy, are you enjoying the fireworks? Lord Jeremiah tells me he is saving the best for the last. So it seems so. Or we still have quite a treat in store for us. What say you? Are you ready to sit back and join the grand finale? Yes. Excellent. I shall import Lord Jeremiah to get the main event underwear forthwith. This may be some time to for a celebration, but I cannot stop thinking about you and Malroth. I'm sure he did not mean the wounding words he said to you. We all say things we do not mean in the heat of the moment. I am sure things will work out between you, but Malroth is a stubborn sort. You must make the first move and soon. Hmm. Uh-oh, the king? Ah, it seems the show's about to begin. For the moment, let us forget our cares and enjoy the fireworks. Oh my god, this is so cute! Oh my, how beautiful! So many fireworks. Goddess, we praise, we found true peace at last. Oh, I can't wait to go back to the island. Poor Malroth. That night, the people of Moonbrook set the sky on fire in celebration for their hard earned peace. As they gaze up in the wonder of the kaleidoscope of the night sky, their thoughts turn to bright future of what lies behind for them. All except for the two, Malroth and Jazzy, whose horizons have become unexpectedly clouded. clouded. Then morning comes. Ah, uh, was it last night? Party is simply sublime? My heart is still racing with joy. In all the excitement, I almost forgot that there was something I wanted to ask you about. What did Warwick mean when he said our world was an illusion? You spoke with him about it back in Renderac, and it seemed like it was playing on my mind ever since. Forgive me, this is not the time for such talk. Let us revel in our victory a little while longer. Before you came here, I lost almost everything, but last night, watching the fireworks with you by my side, I felt truly happy. It's all thanks to your hard work that we have brought peace to Moonbrook once more. Thank you, Jazzy. There is another matter I must discuss with you. You came to this island in search of new companions to take back to your island, did you not? Friends who would help you drive back the children of Argon? Well, there is not a single man among you who would have failed to inspire you with your building abilities. I'm sure many of them would gladly assist you in return. With valiant Moonbrook soldiers at your back, no enemy can stand in your way. Also, now that peace has returned to us, the castle no longer needs, no longer needs any of the many citizens and ballistas that you kindly built for our protection. Pray take them with you, and may they serve your island as well as they did ours. People in Moonbrook wait to greet their hero, Jazzy. Go, tell, uh, go to them and accept their flaudits. They are fully deserved. Where's Malroth, though? Did he take off as well? Kingi! We all owe you a great debt of gratitude for bringing peace back to our home. As the ruler of this fair kingdom, I deeply regret that I cannot appropriately reward you with efforts, but I can offer you stalwart followers to aid you in your quest. What's that? You would bid me join you on your voyage? Me, this heaven-appointed protector of this island? You never want to stand on ceremony, were you, my dear? Alas, I cannot. This kingdom is still my responsibility, and I will not easily abandon it. Do you remember what I told you of this world and its nature? Olivia may approach, and if that is my destiny, so be it. I shall watch over my people to the end. But I shall keep a weather eye out for you, too. 
I look forward to seeing what exciting, incredible inventions you build for the people of this world. Wait, Jerome! God damn it. What about you? Getsuks! Many fight on overthrowing the children of Hargon, and not just that, you saved us from the bally old fate of endless war. When we first met, I was a ori old fool who knew nothing about war, but I was scared you would take away the only thing I knew what to do. But I should have looked forward to it. I never dreamt that waking each morning in the world of peace could be so beautiful. <laughs> Just goes to show there is always more to be learnt, no matter how old you are. You have taught this grandmother to suck eggs, and I do not mean to stop there. What? Excuse me? You have taught this grandmother to suck eggs? Excuse me, what does that even mean? Let's bring me to my point. I won't I want to go with you. It's not too late for me to see the world. Oh my god. How about you, Zara? I'm getting tired of talking, so I'm just gonna read this. Oh my goodness. You coming with me too? Alright, you're coming with me. Wait, you're not coming? Fine. That has to be some mislent mistranslated expression, right? Right? You taught this grandmother to suck eggs? Oh my god. Okay, so Zara's coming with me. Alright. Alright, how about you, Esther? Huh? You want me to come back with you? <laughs> From the first moment I saw you and Malroth share a high five, an ambition rose within me? My god. The moment I saw your high five, I was truly inspired. Alright, what about you? Are you gonna come with us? Sure, you can come with us. Alright, the only last person is uh, Jeremiah. Uh, how did you know the fireworks? Uh, humans are flawed creations, won't we under da da da. <sighs> Let's see. Will you come with me? Can, you, can I just ask you, will you come with me? Okay, so he's coming with me. Cool. Okay. Everybody's coming. Everybody's a coming. Ah, you have spoken to everyone I trust. Jolly good. Ever since I was a child, I've always been fascinated by the art of building. I dreamed of becoming a builder myself. Now that I have the taste for building with my own two hands, I know that I cannot stop now. Building bug has been truly bitten me. Take me with you, Jazzy. I let us continue to work together. Not in winning the war, but in building a new world. Let's go. Good, I knew you could say yes. You are more than an inspiration to me, Jazzy. You are my friend. Now let's return to your island and fight the children of Haga together. Oh, let's take everything? Well, can you guys go do that for me, please? Could, could you could you take them for me? I don't want to... I have to unmanage all this? <sighs> Why do I have to take all this with me? You don't need it anymore, so why don't you go collect it all for us? I'm gonna be happy about doing this. Can I not just build my own? Like... Wizard thing, Majigger? Person with poems could torture Lulu. That's good. Or she might like it. Lulu seems like a person that might like it, though. This. We don't need them anymore, so can you pick them up for us? Ugh.
can make a jail cell now, that's true. We can actually even, like, we can make the cell and we can actually, like, put a name on it so that sh that's her room. Everything that you built. Stuck it forever. That's a dead plant. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a few of these blisses. Not all of them. go to jail. <laughs> right? What's wrong with Lulu? She's just annoying. She's also super bossy. She like makes everybody does things for her. I don't know. She's just very bossy. And she kind of has like a really weird way of like showing her appreciation. And she also takes credit for things that like she clearly didn't do. That's all I'm taking. You guys can have the rest. All right, to Moonbrook. Or the docks. Hello, long time no see. Yar, they look like fierce fighters to a man, especially that one in the smock. They said the island was foreboding place ever where no man dares set foot. They finger of ever a plunk pastor you. But it looks like that was a load of old bilge. That said, I did hear some serious bangs and clangs as I was sailing around the island. What exactly has been going on here? More importantly, what is this island in the first place? I always thought that Moonbrook was on the mainland. Ho ho ho! Hello, King. I allow us to give our guard of honor to see you safely on your way. Allow me to thank you once again, Jazzy. I'm in truly in your jet. We have not restored peace to the kingdom and south the seeds of the bright and booming future. I expect to take you uh, take just as good care of Anessa and these of the noblemen and women of Moonbrook. My citizens are like children to me. I trust that you will do the right by them. And Maroth, my boy, do not pout so, and I prithee. I know that we have treated you appallingly. Your imprisonment was unjust and undeserved. For my role in that fiasco, I wholeheartedly apologize. We'll look upon your friend. Behold the pain expression on her face. She is innocent of the crime, just as you were. Please do not inflict this torture on... I don't want to hear it, alright? Just shut up. God, Zooks, Malarth, how dare you take such an insolent tone with one such as great as the king? Know your place, at least you lose your head. As great as the king? <laughs> and which is greater, asks? A king or a god? Malarth, my lamb, what has come over you? Let us not fight, it is time now to go. The path ahead is bright, and our future is aglow. I cannot help but feel responsible for this discord. But entering into an, argu er, an argument with that will not solve anything. Let us speak with Maoth again when he has calmed down. For now, let us sit sail to your island. I cannot wait to get in building in earnest. Wow. Alright, let's go. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Let's go home. Let's see what new stuff I can build when I get home. Poor Malroth. He's so angry and betrayed. Hmm. Oh, Lulu. Hmm. Let's see what happens. He looks cool in the bow. Yeah, he does. We back. Got all my shit back. Jazzy, Malroth, you're back. Oh, there you are. Wait, no, there you are. Thank goodness we've all been eagerly awaiting your turn. So this is who you created to serve in Lilitopia's military? Is it? Half of them look like they're ready for retirement. 
What calls for that grim and grumpy look on your face? What's an unusual sunny smile? Hmm, it's not my problem. I'm out of here. Ah, Roth. We two had a tiff back in Moonbrook, did you? Gosh, you're like children. What happened? Did you make fun of his ponytail? You shall have to apologize immediately. There'll be time for that later, my dear. Firstly, we must welcome our new arrivals. As the official master of this island, it is a great pleasure that... Welcome to the island, everyone! With your help, we can uh, make it into a land of our wildest dreams. I'm sure you're all eager to start building. We'd like to help, too. But we want to. We don't want to get in your way. If you need him, and just give us a shout, and we'll be more than happy to help. Well then, I think it might time we sought an audience with Harry Hermit. Go talk to the hermit. I just want to unlock the the island so I can start getting some limited stuff, and then I can start free building. Ah, <sighs> Moonbrook took forever. What up, dude? First, I'm giving my mini medals because I got a lot of them. All right. Bandito, bandito, bandana. A blusher. Welcome back, my back, Jazzy. I take it these fellows are your... G goodness me, what do we have here? This is the mighty, muscular, merciless-looking maiden. What? The Kiki King of Moonbrook told you their world is a lie? What a load of pop poppycock. How could our world be anything but the truth? The idea is clearly complete codswallop. And don't repeat it to anyone else. We don't want people to panic over this perjurious prattle. Katsuks, will this glowing gadabout not sit still? I'm becoming quite dizzy. Mr. Hermit, sir, well, we have Moonbrook seek your blessing to take a residence upon your island. But, 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 of course, you're more than welcome to stay. We could do with a few folk, folk, focus versus you. Jazzy tells us this land is threatened by the forces of Children of Hargon. Please tell us how best we can help uh, driving them away. Oh, we don't need to, since, to worry about that anymore. Ever since Jazzy left, the monsters stopped attacking. And our first priority must be to build some homes to live in. We must be tired after a long journey. Thank you, Mr. Hermit, sir. I hope that we make a good use of the abundant space you have come to give your, er, to shape our dreams. After all these years of yearning, I can finally be a builder. I've always wanted to be. But all I have done as yet is bu help build part of the tower. I need to prove myself as a builder. I need to build something magnificent, something majestic, something that is all my own. She's certainly brimming with a vim and vigor. A new and now a perfect place for you to set your uh to set settle. There's another tablet over to the north. Cerulean steep. Okay. Perry, could you stop making that fucking noise? Jesus Christ. Cerulean steep. Whoa. This place is huge. Guess we want to build a castle here? Any bright ideas for what to build here? Moonbrook had a castle, didn't it? Well, I think it's about time Lulu ha Topia had one too. But it has to be a million times bigger and better than the one in Brewbrook. I won't, I won't allow Lulu Topia to lag behind. And as far as the scenery is concerned, let it be wonderful too, to look out over my pure white snowfield from the warmth of my royal bedchamber. The castle will serve us well defensively, but it will not be enough. We will need traps and magical defenses to drive off any attack by the children of Argon. Ugh, man. Have you decided what to build? Let's do it. I'm guessing it's gonna be a huge castle. Yep, castle. Build a castle, make a snow field, build traps. Okay. Grand castle in the field with pure white snow and bristling battery of traps defended. We are to build our very own Moonbrook. Then let us settle here and build not only a castle, but a new home. Gosh, you're really eager to begin building. It seems like Jazzy has quite the influence over you. She most certainly has. Why, she has built the most, the Kazapple cannon for us. It most positively moved us to tears. Is that so? It sounds like your building skills have improved even more since you've been away. I can't wait to see this improvement of myself. 
Behold, we brought a multitude of materials from Moonbrook to help us begin building our new home. I shall pop them in this chest for safekeeping. I selected the stone and marble myself, Jazzy. They are the finest possible quality. As for me, I happened to stumble upon an ugly old mirror while I was out practicing my latest musical masterpiece. It seemed like the sort of thing, so I tossed it in there too. You're also kind and thoughtful, just the kind of model workers Lilitopia needs. Consider yourselves all honorary citizens. Now, my loyal subjects, let's get to work. We need a castle, a snowfield, and a fearsome array of traps. God damn it, Lulu. This is not your island, this is my island. Oh, is that the mirror bra? Okay. <laughs> Another perfect place to put a new castle in Snowfield. Let me show you. You do well to do as she says, Jazzy. Lulu has eyes for these things. As always, you can warp to there to stone. Okay. okay. This is the last, last area that waits development. Once you have completed these targets, the island will finally achieve become fearless paradise. But it's what the island's. Why is it called? It's not Lulutopia. She just keeps calling it that. She wants it to be like her island, even though it's my island. I was, it was given to me by the hairy hermit. Right, let's go. Let's move. Oh, man. I'm ready for this just to get started. Y'all are so slow. I just want you guys to get started on this and then I'm gonna stop streaming because I'm getting real tired of talking. What do you think? Should we be able to build a pretty spectacular castle here? Indeed, it has a good flat foundation and commanding view of the surrounding areas. A master really could not have chosen a better spot. It certainly seems like a ideal place to build a castle, but whatever are we to do about the creating a snowfield? I'm sure as a builder as skilled as, uh, as Jazzy will figure it out. This place is like, you know, like a winter wonderland in no time. God. She'll have to leave the procurement of snow in your capable hands. Meanwhile, we should begin work on the castle. I believe you have proven ourselves a comp competent castle constructors, wouldn't you agree? Moonberg's castle was a very grand affair, wasn't it? Well, I think our castle should be at least as grand, if not grander. I agree, and this time we shan't leave the lion's share of the building to work to Jazzy. It's time we repaid her with all this she did. Ugh, man. Let's get this blueprint going. To the north of Moonbrook lies an isle of everlasting ice, and the power yaois that make their home can breathe snow as the dragon breathes fire. If you could recruit a power yaoi to our cause, we could brew up a blizzard and summon forth the snow we need. Oh, so we actually get like a monster to help us. If, you, if that's your plan, then you better take this. I made it as a treat for Digby and Dugby, but this monster you're looking for might be in more trouble. Oh, I got some more monster munchies. Okay. Are you guys not going to start doing this thing? Fine. I'm just going to go back to the dock real fast. I just want to see what other um, islands I've uh, unlocked. And then I'm going to stop. <sighs> Alright. Hell yes. Laguna Perfuma and the Rimey Reef. I got, I got the gratitude points. Ooh. What's this one? <gasps> hot springs! It's got hot springs! Oh, I'm so excited for hot springs! Alright, guys. I'm gonna save this. Let's do a little save. And we're gonna stop for now, because, oh my goodness, 